YouTube. So I'm just here today with a back to school basics. Um, a lot of people are starting school and a lot of people are also doing um, back to school basic kind of like what do you need in your bag, things to be ready for the first day of school. This is going to be a college edition just because I am well out of high school and so things might have changed. Um, I could do like a basics video for that but I'm not going to lie, I'm not really into high school kind of thing so we're just going to go ahead and do college edition. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get started. This is going to be super, super basic, so I am keeping it as basic and as simplistic as possible because that's how I roll. The first basic supply that you should have is number two mechanical pencils. Now the reason I say mechanical is because nobody likes to be sharpening their pencil in the middle of a test or in the middle of like a quiet note taking or a lecture. So, and nobody likes to get up and like try and find that like mechanical, uh, pencil, the like electronic pencil sharpener, and it's like, and then like you're trying to get sharpened and it breaks, and then you're like, shit, and like everybody's turning around like, really, really you don't have a mechanical pencil? Get number two mechanical pencil. So these are the ones that I have. You can find these at Walmart, Target, pretty much anywhere, Staples, um, Office Max, things like that. Um, I like the big number two pencils. I just get these super, super simple ones. These ones I like. Um, the next thing that you're definitely, definitely going to need is obviously some pens. Everybody has a pen that they really, really love. And I love the gel pen. Um, I get the Zebra Z Grip in, ooh, obviously in the black color. It's super simple. I don't get all crazy with my pens. I just like to get a simple black pen um, that's clicky and whatever. Love this pen. Um, it lasts a really, really long time. So definitely have a pen in my bag. Um, I got these super fun little ones at like Walmart or something. I don't know. They're super cute and they're like short. So I mean not that it really matters but you're going to need pens. So the next thing that you're going to need is some highlighters. Um, I have a plethora of highlighters. I have, I have all different color highlighters. I have yellow. I have purple. I have blue. I have purple. Pink. <laughs> I have green. Um, I have all different colors. I don't really care. I usually tend to go with the um, Sharpie brand highlighters. These are usually my favorite. Um, but you are going to need some highlighters to either highlight in your textbooks, highlight in the notes that you're taking, um, in your planner or over your syllabus. You're going to have to highlight certain things just so that you know like, hey, this is due on this date or we have a project coming up on this date, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I forgot to turn my lights on. And she said, let there be light. I hope this is a lot better. I just remembered to turn my lights on. Sorry. I'm not going to redo that whole thing. So that's that. <laughs> well, the next thing that I like to recommend is like, this is like back in my day where we used to have these kind of funny eraser things. And it looks like this. And it clicks up like this. And it's like this huge eraser. So I definitely suggest if you have a math class a si or a science class and you think you're going to be erasing a lot, this thing I really, really love. I only have to click it up a little bit. This has lasts me forever and it's a really, really good eraser. Um, this is the Pentel Click Eraser ZE22. Anyways, get some kind of like large eraser so that you're not busting through all your mechanical pencil erasers, um, especially of a math if you have a math or a science class. This is come this comes in handy for sure. Okay, so the next thing that I have is to get some kind of planner. Um, I know that a lot of people like to put their notes in like, hey, I got homework due on this day or this assignment, this assignment in their phones, but if you were to happen to lose your phone or your phone dies and you're like, oh shit, what is due? Um, it's really good to have some sort of backup plan, so I do suggest you have a planner, and this is the planner that I have. I like to have something like this that has the smaller boxes if I want to put like my own personal things in there, but then I'm huge on having enough space. Um, here's the month of August, there's nothing in it currently, but I like to, oh, awesome. <laughs> I like to be able to have all of the like bigger spaces in there so that I can write all of my assignments down um, and that way I can kind of keep track of what it is I need to do and then I can check it off when I'm done. 
You can also have something a little bit smaller, something like this, that's more of just like paper, and you can just date it and kind of, oh, that's nice. You can just kind of date it and go through it like that. So you can also have something like this. It's nice and simple. It'll fit in your bag. Okay, another basic supply is to have a small stapler. I have definitely found myself coming to class and having to turn in an essay or some sort of assignment that needs to be stapled. And some professors don't have a stapler in the class. And seriously, you get up there and you're like, oh, do you have a stapler? And the professor's like, no, I ain't got no stapler. You need to be coming to class prepared. And I'm like, I am prepared. I got my essay. It's a 10-page paper, and I don't have a staple. So anyways, <laughs> it's definitely good to have this little guy somewhere in your bag, in your car. Um, probably keep it in your bag. <laughs> um, just a small little stapler. Staple it, done. Good to go. You don't have to worry about it. I, that has happened to me where I didn't staple it, and I'm like, oh, shit. I seriously have to go down to the computer lab to staple it. It's ridiculous. Excuse this binder. This binder is super old, but I don't see the need to buy a new binder every time I'm going to school. So this is obviously an old binder. It's got pictures in it, um, but I like to keep one binder like this. I think this is the one and a half inch. It's like the kind of smaller one. It's not the huge one. Um, and then I like to get, now obviously I have <laughs> my homework in here with my name in it. Um, I like to get these plastic covers so that I can keep my work separated um, and then you can put the name of the class that you're in um, in each of these. Now you can see I have I have a couple of these so there's this class and then there's this class and then I also have a notebook like this. It is a one subject notebook um, but that way I have paper that I can write all my stuff in. So this alone covers at least three classes. I have my notebook for one class and then two separate, you know, things like this. And then I can put paper in here uh, be behind each one. Um, so this covers at least three classes. Another option that you can do, which I really actually like to do, and this one is also very much used, um, is get a four subject or a five subject notebook. Um, this is the one that I have and seriously it's massive and this is heavy enough which is why I wouldn't want to get, if I were to get this, I wouldn't want to get anything else. Maybe a couple folders or something to put my homework in. Uh, but the thing that I really like about these, now obviously oh, this has um, pockets in it so this way I can put my syllabus, any handouts um, in one side. You open it you can take all your notes and stuff, and then on the other side of this, you can put um, your homework. If you need to turn something in, you can put it on that side. So I like to label mine, as you can see, handouts. And then on the other side of this, I like to put turn in. So that I know that that is the side that I need to turn it in. I don't know if that sounds really complex, but to me that makes it really simple. And that way all I have to do is carry this big heavy thing around. I put it in my bag, good to go, it covers five classes. So the last basic supply that you guys are going to need in your bag is a calculator. I do recommend the calculator. Um, I think a lot of schools do recommend um, the Texas Instruments, the like super fancy calculator. It's the TI-83+. plus. It might be upgraded by now, but um, once you get one, you're pretty good. Um, these last a long time. I love this calculator. It just slides like this. Um, the reason that I suggest that you have a calculator if you're in science or math class, um, astronomy, anything that's going to have to do with any kind of calculation, um, you know, you could use your phone, but there are still professors out there that will not allow you to have your phone out whatsoever during a test. So if you don't have a calculator and you're planning on using your phone during a test, you're screwed. You're going to need a calculator. So don't just rely on your cell phone. Definitely make sure that you have your calculator at all times in your bag. Um, you can carry a backpack. Some people carry a backpack. Some people carry like an over-the-shoulder one bag. I like to carry just a, this cute little bag that I found um, at TJ Maxx. And it's a Calvin Klein bag and I've had it for a long time. And it fits, it's like wide like this. So it fits my binder and I could put, you know, an iPad in here, a tablet. I could even put a computer in here if I really wanted to. Um, it's neutral color so it goes with any outfit. It doesn't even matter. Um, I've sprayed some 
um, water repellent stuff on it so during the winter I can still use it it's not a big deal um, and it holds all of my stuff so you can get a bag like this you can get a backpack I also have a briefcase type of bag which is this one right here and I love this one especially if I'm going to be doing a lot of computer work spending a lot of time in the computer lab um, this one's really like heavy and more durable it fits all of my stuff in it, it has my binders it has this little center medium with a zipper so I can put my calculator and my other stuff and so um, those are some bag options for you guys um, yeah <laughs> um, a makeup bag some people have a makeup bag and some people don't have a makeup bag mine is very very simple I don't like to wear a lot of makeup especially if I'm going to school um, just because I'm there all day I don't want stuff on my face I'm usually going to the gym at some point but if you do like a makeup bag and you like to keep it simple this is what I like to keep in my bag. So I have this cute little bag here. Um, some basic, basic things that I like to keep in my makeup bag. Hand sanitizer. Love the hand sanitizer. Just because it's you're at school and it can be really dirty. Um, some mascara for those simple, simple days. I have this little travel size mascara. Some chopstick. Um, some roll-on perfume, which I have like a ton of. I have a couple in here, but this is my favorite one. It's the Pacifica one. But some roll-on perfume. <laughs> some roll-on roll perfume. <laughs> some of this stuff. Because sometimes you're just like, dang, I forgot my deodorant. And I smell really bad. Let me just go ahead and cover that up. <laughs> um, I like to use some kind of like lip crayon these types of things just because they're super easy they're not really sticky you can just kind of put it on maybe put some chapstick on, on top of it so this is kind of something that I like to have and I like to keep the colors very light and neutral so not something like what I'm wearing right now uh, but something where if it fades it's not a big deal I can just reapply it it's not a big deal um, so something like this I also have this one in here um, it's the lilac ever after it's kind of like a pinky light shade um, super super light like that one um, the next thing that I would also suggest is some sort of um, concealer if you're having like a major breakout I've really liked this one it's the Neutrogena skin clearing blemish concealer and obviously it has been used it's all kinds of cray um, it looks like this anyways I like to have that in my bag just in case something is going seriously wrong with my face <laughs> um, I also like to keep a hair tie in this bag because if my hair is down say it starts raining all of a sudden or it's just all in my way then I at least have a hair tie for sure in my bag and I put my hair up so that's pretty much it that goes in this makeup bag that's all I would suggest okay the next thing that I would suggest is snacks if you are planning to take on a full set of classes and you're gonna have like a full day of classes I would suggest to have snacks do not be afraid to pack a lunch put some ice in it some ice bags something like that don't be afraid to do that I'm serious some suggestions of food A lot of PB and a little J. Fun. Perfect snacks on the go for a long day in class. That's what's up. Okay, so I'm going to talk about freshman 15. It's not a myth, it actually happens. The way that I avoided freshman 15 or that I would suggest avoiding freshman 15 is to join a workout class. I do suggest them. They're fun. They keep you on your feet. Um, it's a good in-between class. It's a good credit to have. Um, and it keeps you fit. You can make a lot of friends in it. Um, join an outside activity. Like join a team. When I was a freshman in college, I joined the track, track and field team. And that was a lot of fun. So I was constantly running. I was working out. Um, you can also, also take out outside activities. Find out if there's hiking in your area paddle boarding, um, something outside. If it's raining, then make sure you take a class. Um, those are all really, really good ways of avoiding freshman 15. It's something is better than nothing. <laughs> 
Oh my god, textbooks are so expensive, especially if you buy them at the bookstore. When I first started going to school, books were super, super expensive, and I didn't know anything from anything about getting books. Um, you can rent books online now. There's Chegg, um, Chegg.com. I know there's some other ones, I just can't remember them on top of my head because I plan on putting them down below. Um, so just make sure you check out those links. I will put them down below. You can rent your books. And when you rent your books, it's seriously, you can get them for way, way less. Like, so much lesser. <laughs> way less expensive online renting them. And then they ship them to you. You keep the box. Keep the paperwork. It's not a big deal. When you're done with them, put them back in the box. Ship them back out. Done deal. That's it. Um, when you go to the bookstore, you have to buy them full price and then when you go to return them to the bookstore they seriously give you like a quarter for your three hundred dollar textbook it's ridiculous i'm telling you trust me rent your books it's a lot nicer um definitely definitely seek other options as far as textbooks go don't be worried if you don't get your books right away um there are some classes like a math class or a science class those ones i would definitely worry about getting right away um but there are other classes that you don't really need them on the first day or the first week. The professors are a little bit more lenient to that. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Don't freak out if you don't have them within your first week. You'll get them. You'll have them. Um, and then you can always rent them from the library. Uh, so don't forget to do that. Say you have an assignment that very first day or that very first week and you haven't gotten your book yet. You can rent it at the library. That way you have it. I've done that before. Um, it makes things a lot easier. So that is a suggestion for you guys um, or advice <laughs> that you can use. So that's it on books. Do not be afraid to seek help. Um, Go to tutoring if you're not good at English or math or science or I don't know, whatever it is. Go get tutoring. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Also, don't be afraid to talk to your professor at the end of class. Um, ask them if there's anything extra that you can do um, for extra credits or, I mean, I guess the only reason you would ask him is for extra credit. <laughs> Um, so just don't be afraid to talk to your professor. It's not about being a teacher's pet. Um, don't worry about what people are going to think of you because people, I mean, there are some people in college that are still like that. But when you're in college, you have to take that next step and be like, you know what, I'm in college now, I'm not in high school, and I don't care what you think. <laughs> so just don't be afraid to do that. It's going to really help you out in the long run. Um, in the long run, it's helped me out. I always ask my professors, hey, especially if I'm struggling or... If it's a class that I know I'm going to struggle in, immediately within the first like week, two weeks, I go up to them and say, hey, you know, I'm not very good at math, so I'm going to get the tutoring. Um, is there any kind of extra credit that I can always do and stay up on so that I don't fall behind? Also, don't be afraid to create some sort of study group. So when you start to make friends or talk to people in class um, or even if there's a project assigned, especially early on in the semester, um, you know, make a sheet and write down your name, your email, your phone number, and try to get some sort of study group together. That way you guys can go on your own time and you can study together, pass the test, pass the class, get it over with. It's another notch in your belt. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So definitely seek help. Don't be afraid to talk to your peers. Um, also, another person not to be afraid to talk to is your counselor. Make sure that you're going to see your counselor at least once a semester, um, maybe even twice a semester. Make sure that you have all your paperwork in. Um, make sure that you're on track, you're taking the right classes, um, things like that. So don't be afraid to talk to your counselor. I've definitely find or found that whenever I talk to him, like, hey, you know, what's going on? What should I take next? Um, and then he points me in the right direction as to where I need to go to get done faster. Um, and then also, you know, he'll let you know, like, hey, you know, this, these classes with this class, that might be too hard for you. Um, let's go ahead and switch it around. Let's do this class with this class. So the counselor knows what he's talking about. Go see your counselor. Um, don't forget, don't, don't be afraid to ask your counselor. Um, but to mostly just have fun. This is college. Um, it's totally different from high school. Totally, totally different. 
So just make sure to have fun and seek help and make sure that you're doing what you need to be doing and um, also make mistakes. <laughs> Learn from your mistakes and that's pretty much it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Until the next time, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys have a good day or good night. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, link down or comment down below and let me know if this helped you or if you have any further advice uh, for other people who are going into college. It could be your first time. It could not be your first time. Whatever. doesn't matter. Just go ahead and leave it down below. Um, don't forget to like the video if you liked it or thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye.